Nutrien is committed to feeding the future and a great example of that can be seen here at White Springs. We mine phosphate, which is a critical component that everyone needs. The phosphate production process begins by first move the overburden off the top, get to your matrix layer. The matrix is a mixture of phosphate, sand, and clays. It can be anywhere from 10 to 30 feet down to the top of your matrix. And so they know when they get to that depth, they take a bucket, take a look at it to see if it has the phosphate that we're looking for. And if it does, we'll mine that matrix out, move it to your bit car. We're using uh, high pressure water to gun that into a slurry. And then we pump it down a 20 inch pipeline back to the milling process. The matrix slurry comes into the top of the mill and there's a distribution box up there and allows it to segregate into different trains. Your primary flume screen is the first screen that you hit when you come out of the distribution box. So it's gonna remove a lot of clays and a lot of your smaller sands. Then it moves to the primary vibratory screens. So there we're using water and we're washing it or separating out that quarter millimeter size product. And then it gets to the log washer. So that actually will mechanically try to break up those larger pieces into smaller ones. Once we're sized out, that'll end up getting fed to the float plant. The way it works is we first condition the feed coming in, some pH adjuster, and that actually binds to the phosphate and allows the phosphate to become less dense. So it actually floats to the top with a foam. The paddles are scraping the foam that has phosphate rock in it. Once we have phosphate rock on the pile, we'll take that and transfer it into the chemical plants. They'll mix there with sulfuric, which creates a, a gypsum and phosphoric acid. Once you make your phosphoric acid, they can go in animal feed products, fertilizers, food products, soft drinks. It's something that I mean, maybe most people don't know about. I think it's important that they do know this is, this is what we do. You can take a lot of pride in the work we do because we take this material from the ground and we turn it into something that is in usable form for, for plant life and for, for organisms where it's needed so we can feed the future.